Hi, and welcome to Yagi's Corner. So I hope you are all doing great. I've been gone for a while because I have been sick. It's not COVID. It just started out with really bad allergies and turned into a sinus infection. I got better for a week, kind of like to go to the wedding that I had up north. And the night I came back, I went downhill. So that was Tuesday. Today's Sunday. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm out of breath because it's even hard for me to breathe, but I am doing a lot better. So in today's video, I thought it would be a great idea to show you what I've been doing this week. I've had so many meetings. I've been sick as a dog, but I've been working through my cold, whatever it is that I have. And I've had uh, trainings. I've had to be on camera. So I had, there was no way around it. So this is the makeup application I've been using this week while being sick with runny eyes, runny nose, coughing, sneezing, and it has, for the most part, stayed put. Um, I'm using mostly, yeah, I think I've been using all cream products. And those are the ones that stay put. Um, you know, when I'm, I have runny eyes or a runny nose, I dab it with my tissue paper and it stays put. All right, guys, if you like this look and if you need this look, please continue watching and I'm glad to be back. Bye. Hi, guys, and welcome. So, as I said in my intro, I've been sick. Um, it started out with allergies. Um, then it was like a huge sinus thing. Um, got better like for a week. Enough, enough, enough enough for me to get on a plane and um go to a wedding i did have a little bit of sniffles um it wasn't covid and um <clears throat> you know it was 40 degrees up there in the washington dc virginia maryland area and <clears throat> i was enjoying the weather i had a light jacket but apparently that did me in <clears throat> i get back to miami on a Tuesday night and that Tuesday night I went downhill <clears throat> it is Sunday and I am feeling a little bit better today I'm sorry about my voice <clears throat> I might need to stop a couple of times because this cough is crazy all right guys let's get into this so I figured you know I've been working this week <clears throat> sick and everything and in some cases I've had to show my face on these zoom meetings or teams meetings so I've been trying to put makeup on that is um, not going to interfere with my sinus, my runny nose, my runny eyes, um, and all the sneezing and wiping my nose, wiping my mouth and all that. So <clears throat> I'm going to get into it. So that's why the name of this video is Makeup When You're Sick. Anyways, let's get on with it. So. I've missed you guys. Um, some of you have DM'd me to find out how I'm doing. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> it's been it's been a little hectic, I have to say. Uh, work and then preparing for the trip. So I did take my trusty little BK Beauty my brush set. I took all these brushes. Some of I think these two are not um, BK Beauty, but the rest are. And then in here, I had some compacts, eyeshadow um, palettes. It was great. I mean, and it was in my carry-on luggage. It was perfect. So I'm just going to give these brushes a little clean. Anyways, um, so yeah, thank God it's not COVID. And I had my flu shot. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to walk into a minute clinic today because I could not make the appointment online because it doesn't give you the option to say what kind of test you want. I think they figure everybody just wants a COVID test. But I do want to do a flu test only because I have a family gathering in a week and I'd just like to know um, if I have the flu or had the flu. I am I am feeling better, so, but just still. And um, <clears throat> so yeah, the wedding was beautiful. The weather up there was gorgeous, except the day of the wedding. That was the only day it poured, but the wedding was gorgeous. Um, I got to hang, hang out with my family that I had not seen in a long time. 
Um, we went to a winery. It was simply beautiful. We spent Easter together. It was really nice. I'm so glad I went. Anyways, um, yeah, um, the airport was fine. Um, here in Miami, when I left, we, um, the airport in Miami, you know, um, required you to wear the mask and so did American Airlines. When I came back, they didn't. So it was so weird. But I still had mine on. And on the way back, what, on the way? Yeah, on the way back, I didn't have anyone beside me. And then there was a somebody, I was in the aisle. The middle seat was empty, so it was great. It was really good. Anyways, um, yeah, it was uh, non-eventful. It was pretty good. Except for a very, very, very impatient um, man that was sitting in seat 14C, who was so obnoxious. You know, usually when you get up from your seat, the, the seatbelt signs go off. I'm always the first one up. I get my bag and I stand right there in my row, right? So I can just go. And that's why I always pick the aisle seat too for among other reasons. You know, I like to go to the restroom. I don't like to, whatever. Anyway, so this guy, <clears throat> and I always, it's common courtesy to let the people in the row in front of you get their bags, even if they're sitting on the window seat, you know, cause they need to, they need time to get out, grab their overhead uh, baggage. The guy was like, hurry up, let's go. Come on, let's get going. I'm like, sir, I'm waiting for them to get their stuff. No, come on, let's go. So rude, so I just don't get people, really. But you know what? Oh, well. So I am going to... My face is clean. Last night I did a mask. It was a very nice mask. So <clears throat> I washed my face this morning with my Cetaphil, like always. So I'm going to give it a little um, swipe with one of my... I don't know if I should use the cleansing spa water, which I still have. I mean, it's more than halfway empty. And then my Bioderm, which uh, quite honestly, I wasn't very impressed with either one. So um, the one, like I said, the one I loved was the Clarins, the Chamomile. They no longer make that one. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I went back to in my Sephora haul. But I need to use these up, so I think I'm going to use the um, Co Kogan Doe uh, Spa Water. Okay, I'm just going to wipe my face down. So yeah, my, my face has been like when I wake up in the mornings. It's like swollen. My eyes are, there was one morning where my eyes were so shut <clears throat> that I literally, I know this sounds dramatic, but I couldn't, I couldn't see, like I could see, but I had to strain to open my eyes. I mean, I just couldn't work. So I was sick that day because I had to, um, try to get better and that's what happens with me i i try to work through these colds and sinus infections and i don't take the time to rest and i just end up getting worse i mean there was one time where i went a month like this <clears throat> and i ended up getting I, I had walking pneumonia so i've learned my lesson so i've been drinking a uh, chicken soup um a lot of uh, hot water with lemon and honey, uh, even uh, wonton soup. Like all those like um, consomme based soups really help me. All right, so now I wiped on my face a little bit. I'm going to spray. I think like when you're sick, you just want your face to feel clean, nothing heavy. Um, <clears throat> you also don't want, like, if my eyes start to water or my nose starts to drip, you know, I don't want powder base because then you can really tell, you know, that it's gonna, it's gonna run. So, 
I stick to um, cream products, okay? So I want my face to be, because I've been wiping it down so, so much, my nose is kind of raw here. My lips, oh my gosh, a week ago, my lips were terrible. They were so raw and chapped. So I am going to put on my um, by Terry. It's the Bomb de Rose. And I'm going to apply some on the outside purposefully so because I am so chapped. All right. So something else I want to, I really want to condition my skin, moisturize it. Um, where is it? Okay. So I'll find out, but I think Clarence still makes this, the beauty flash. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. So what I want to use this for is in the areas where I'm just need, I need a little lift. I'm not going to apply it all over my face because I have something else just to apply it over the face. But this is going to give me a little lift. Around my eyes, I've, I've been so puffy. Around here, it's been here, it's just been. So I want you to use something that's kind of like going to tighten me, lift. And I find that this beauty flash is just a thing. So I've missed filming. I really have. It's just that being sick and work and everything. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to add some of the Glossier. Um, this is the Future Dew. Okay. I th This is two drops. I think it's too much. But I'm just going to pat it on. Okay. So I am going to put a little bit more of... Just spritz them on. Okay. And now I'm going to use the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. This is a light, light, um, exactly what it says, tint. It's nothing too heavy. Actually, hold on. Let me get my sunblock. I'll be right back. This is my super goop on scene sunscreen because I do want to get some sun today. These days I've been staying at home. Obviously, I haven't gone out, but today I have to go out. I need to get some sun. I need to get some vitamin sun in me. All right. I'm going to let that soak in for a little bit. So I'll be right back. back. That's soaked in enough. So I'm giving, I've got two pumps of the water fresh tint. I'm just going to pat it all around. And I think this is the kind of foundation or tint that's very forgiving. So if you do blow your nose, since it's such light coverage, you're not really going to um, be able to notice if some of it has actually come off when you're wiping your nose, wiping your eyes. Perfect. 
I love that. I love this as you can see. I'm almost done. I have one. I have a backup. All right. So I don't want to put on my traditional concealer. And here's why. Sometimes some of those concealers um, tend to like powder up. I I'm not sure. It's like, yeah, it goes on creamy. But then it kind of like uh, gets like soft powdery on you. But I want something emollient. So if I am to drip, it'll slide off and not get into the powdery um, consistency. And then I have a line going down my face. Okay. So for that reason, I am going to use the Westman Atelier. I'm going to take the lit up stick in the regular lit. And I'm going to use, in this case, I'm using um, the Vital Stick Foundation in one. And I'm going to mix both of them. Why? Because this tends to, this is a bit, I mean, this stick, I love this stick. It's very, um, you know, smooth, emollient. And you can mix it with the foundation. Okay. And then I'm just going to pat, pat, pat. There we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques. It's this purple brush. I'm going to put the excess from my finger on it. And then I'm just going to pat that in. Now, I have the By Terry, and this, had la this has lasted me so long. It's the By Terry um, Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder. It's in colorless, the color colorless zero. So what I use this for is to kind of set my under eyes, okay? This, I... When I made a purchase from their website, this came as a, you you get to select a sample size and they're very generous with their sample sizes. I mean, this is the size of a Chantecaille blush and this was for free. Okay, so with the same um, brush I used to apply my concealer, I'm going to gently tap underneath my eyes and set the concealer. There you go. The shine has gone down a little bit. I do like a dewy look, but I don't want to look like I'm a greasy, sick mess. Okay. There we go. In a lot of reviews, this powder, you need to learn how to apply it because in a lot of the reviews I saw, it was tricky, but I really like it. All right, now, sorry, I'm getting really nasal. Let me take a break. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, now, I am going to add a little bit of bronzer, and for that, I'm going in with my RMS Buriti bronzer, which I love. Okay, I'm just going to... not going to go really heavy. Again, remember, this is for a meeting, but I just want to look healthy. Okay, around. Okay. 
That's it. Now for the eyes. I recently purchased the pink pods, pink pots. Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC, okay? So I purchased it in Bear Study and Painterly. I'm going to swatch both of them to see which one. Okay, this is Painterly and this is Bear Study. So I think I'm going to use Bear Study because it's lighter than this one. I'm going to swatch them for you right now. Painterly. I'm going to go in hard. And bear study. Okay, so painterly and bear study. So the reason why I want to use this is I'm going to use it sort of as a primer base for my eyes. This brush is awesome. I have like three of these. Okay, so I'm gonna gently dab it on my eyelids. And just spread it all around. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to take it all the way in my inner corner so it could like lift that as well. And that's what I love about these. They're cream, but then they feel super soft. And I'm going in and it's not budging. So these have been very good to me this past month as I've had watery eyes and have not been feeling great. I'm wiping my face, they've been great. Okay, so now I'm going to use one of my many um, stick eyeshadows. So I've been using, um, yeah, I've been using this one, the Laura Mercier, um, the All Natural Cario Stick. This one, because I think it looks really pretty. But let me see, I want to use something else. Um, I want to use maybe something a little bit darker. So. This is the Laura Mercier. Oh my God, this is too dark. Coco. And then this is the Laura Mercier in Rush. Oops. I think I'm gonna use this one yeah okay so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to get my brush and apply it on my brush this is such a pretty color because it has a little bit of sparkle in it And then I'm going to apply it in my crease, okay? Okay. It's very, very light. But it's just enough to give you a little bit of depth. That's it. All right. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeliner and this is the Marc Jacobs. This is his um, gel liners. Um, it's the Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon. This is in coffee. Okay, 
So with this, I'm going to define my inner corner and then just a little wing on the outside. Okay. That's it. Let me do my eyebrows. Now my eyebrows, again, normal. What I, what I always use, my NYX eyebrow, micro eyebrow in pencil in taupe. And then I'm going to go over it with my Glossier uh, Boy Brow. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've done my eyebrows. Now I'm going in with the Glossier Lash Stick. I'm just going to apply a very light coat. Okay. Just a really light coat. So for blush, I'm going to use the Westman Atelier in Mimi. Guys, this color is gorgeous. This is going to give you a healthy looking flush. And I'm just going to spread it out. Actually, I'm going to use the same foundation brush. So I could really melt in. Look at that. Just add a little tiny bit more here on the inside. Now the lips. For the lips, I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham lip liner in, I think this is number two. Yes, in number two. Just at the bottom. And then just overlying this stuff right here. Over nine. Then I've got, I'm not sure if I should use this or this. I'm between the Victoria Beckham. This is so pretty and moisturizing. This is the color. Girl. And then this is the Armani, which I also love. The one on top is Armani. And this is in 102. Hold on, I'm going to call. Oh God, that hurts. It hurts to cough. Okay, so um, trying to spread that lip liner around. I'm not sure what color to, I think I'm gonna use the Armani. I've been using this. Oh, so pretty. Try to melt it in with your lip liner. <laughs> Guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to get some tips and tricks of applying makeup when you're sick as a dog. And, um, you know, if I get runny eyes, if I get a runny nose, I just take my tissue and I dab. And since they're clean products, they're going to stay put more than the powder products. Um, sorry about my nasal uh, voice, but it's the best I can do. 
I hope to see you real soon. I'm going to uh, be filming a haul video right now. Hopefully these videos will go up uh, today's Sunday. Hopefully they'll go up first thing tomorrow morning. So if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. Please spread the word, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, take care, and stay healthy. Bye.